I'll tell you what, right, I'll tell you how focused I am. What? Got some new ideas for you. Go on, well, they've all been blinders in the past. Go right. on. Did you do any competitions when I was away? Uh, did we, I think we did, didn't we? Didn't we give away a DVD? Did we? Yeah, we did, we did. Yeah, go on, yeah, right. go on, anyway. Well, I thought some, uh... This isn't like radio, is it, as we know it? This is just people talking. Mm. If the mic's on, it's luck. Mm. <laughs> yeah. If anyone's listening, I'd, I've, you know, I've no idea what they think mm -hmm, of this show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. not a show. Not in the, the traditional sense. No. Okay, no. then, you're gonna change with that kind of Because a show to... suggests a certain form of presentation. Yeah. A certain pride. And when we do present and it- dare I say it's some planning. Yeah, and when we do, it's ruined by impressing the wrong button. Yeah. yeah but I've got some planning here. Go on, then. Uh, Course what, is, you... what I did was, when I was on holiday, yeah. right, I, I, you, you said, you know, come up with a new idea, right? Mm. So the best way of coming up with ideas is sort of, um... <laughs> Thinking. Sort of nicking a, a TV show name and then twisting it a bit. Yeah. So... Yeah. Or just rip off Simon, Ma Simon Mayo's idea completely. That's right, good I advice did, for anyone I, out there. I didn't yeah, know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're interested in, in ideas. Carl uh, is presently, uh, um, running a course, writing for TV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that, that's the lesson one, isn't it? Just that's rip something else <laughs> off. Just, just right. do it and change the title slightly. Yeah, well, go this, on. This one, I haven't really got a, I don't know what to do on the game, but I'm thinking, uh, <laughs> <laughs> st strike it Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you've got? That's, uh, that's that, what you've come up with. How long did that, that take? What is that? I just thought it sounded a bit like lucky. <laughs> Forget that one then. Yeah, forget that one, okay, yeah, well, no, right. no, no, good, no, no, we all have, we all have hits on this, don't we? even Spielberg's, not all his films, you know, can hit the, uh, go on, right. no, okay, no, it's a good, it's a, go on, yeah. Do you remember Big Brother? Yeah. Do I remember Big Brother? No, go on. <laughs> Big Mother, right, you call in, <laughs> if your mum's ever, you win a CD. <laughs> Yeah, here's one. Right, yeah, good one. No, 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 yeah, no. The price is right. Remember that. Yeah. yeah. Right. The price is Ricky. No, the rice is right. <laughs> and what I do, I read from an Indian menu and a Chinese menu. You tell me whether you have pilau or egg fried. <laughs> <laughs> He's a genius, isn't he? He really is. A I modern. that one. Let go on go into the, let's, it. Let's, let's go into this one. Let's not cross this off right away. Go on. Then. What do, you read from what? Well, I've got, I, I get a couple of menus from like an Indian or a, and a Chinese takeaway. Yeah. yeah. And I'll go like, uh, right, um, oh, chicken korma. Well, could I just suggest that as it's an Indian, it'll be pilau and anything you read out that is- Yeah, but you don't know which one I'm reading from. What the chicken korma's Indian, isn't it? Yeah, so you go pilau. <laughs> but then, but then- Well, you, then you might as well say Indian or Chinese. <laughs> no, because then the, the name wouldn't work. The rice is right. <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot you're working for the title backwards, aren't you? Okay, yeah. I'm okay. so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. know where I am or what, what I, day it is. I, I, pro I programmed that they've been in on Channel 4, right? Can you cross that out? It's, it's, We're not doing the rice is right either. I don't understand no. the rice is right. No, go I'll on. tell you that later. We'll have a game in the office, right? <laughs> um, a, a game that they've been in on Channel 4, but has got really big viewing figures. Well, but, obviously not. Right. Or they wouldn't be binning it. Go on. Do you know 15 to 1? Yeah. They're getting rid of that, right? Are they? I'm thinking, 15 Taiwan. <laughs> get some items that are made in Taiwan, right? Get 15 items, and y and I say what they are, and then you go, oh, I bet it's the vase. Or something. That's the one that's made in Taiwan? Yeah. <laughs> Just explain that again very quickly. <laughs> no, don't go. Oh, All right, forget it that, out. forget that. Cross it out. 15 Taiwan. <laughs> right. Go on. This is the one that I've prepared for, because I think this is, this, this is isn't daft, this is good. Let's go play on. a tune in this here after that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm are very sure? excited. Are we gonna play it after that, or are we gonna say- No, you can explain no, it it's out. I'm right. very excited. Could <laughs> we'll do that again, and it's Oh, deep. fantastic. Waiting on a Friend by the Rolling Stones. Yeah? Go on then, Carl. On XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Hilton. Go on. Right, this one. Um, remember Blockbusters? Uh-huh. Right, this one, this one is good, and we'll do this one. Uh, Rockbusters. And remember how Bob Olness used to give you a letter? Yeah. And, uh, um, it'd give you a question and the answer to that question is that letter. Yeah. Right, well it works like that. So if I said to you, um, you know, we'll test it out on you, Steve, right? Um, right, welcome to the show on that. Hello. Um, let's, let's play, right? Mm -hmm. And I say, right, your first one is W. Mm-hmm. Um, and the cryptic clue, cause it's done like crosswords. Okay. Um. So not quite like blockbusters. Well. Um, this young man prepared for his death. Right. And it's a W, so the answer, 
And it's not always going to be like our sort of music, it can be any sort of music that's out there. So the W is the name of? Of the answer. I understand that, but is the answer always the band name or is it- is Yeah. It, it, it's always the band name, is it, or the artist? Yeah. And it, and so would the W be the surname or would you have both the initials if it was someone's name? <laughs> Would Elvis Presley be EP? Don't uh, get annoyed, Carl. No. These are, these, <laughs> these these are questions, questions that I knew would be asked. I know this, you tested it on me. So you've got to tell them. We well, need to the point. know the rules. If, if it was Elvis, I'd probably do, uh, I'd do E. No, 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 give him the answer. Give him the right, answer. Did you hear the clue? No, give me the clue again then. So the, the, the letter is It w. is a cryptic clue, it's and the w. clue's fine. Listen, but, and the clue on. is, this young man prepared for his death. This young man prepared for his death. Yeah. This young man prepared for his death. And it's a W. And it's his first name. That's what he needs well, to see, know. Well, see, that's the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't- Well, shouldn't we have the initials? Wouldn't that make it easier? I mean, yeah, but they didn't do that on Blockbusters, it just had one letter. Yeah, they did. No, they did. They, they did, did if it was a, if- The gold one they often had us for three or four. Did they? Letters, yeah. But it was normally just one word. It wouldn't have been a name or something. Mm. All right, then. W- it's W, uh, Y. W, Y. Will Young. Excellent. Right, I didn't so understand it. What this was the young Will man, prepared young... for? This young man. So he's sort of mi mixed, sort of cryptic. Yeah. But I mean, you know, is there, there's yeah, a good effort. That's better than yeah. usual. No, it's that is better than it's usual. It's not bad, is it? So should we, do you want to play, let's play Rockbusters. Yeah, Rockbusters. Uh, yeah. So how many of these have you got? No, because no, just, 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 wait, 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 wait. let's just clarify a couple of rules here, Carl. Let's just make sure we thought everything through, because I'm pretty certain when they get these things on TV, they at least have a go at them in the office first, <laughs> before they put them straight on there. I'm sure <laughs> that's how it works. I'm sure Bob Ornish just didn't turn up the first day, and he goes, up, we're all winging it, it'll be fine. Bring the students in, let's have a go. I'm sure they're giving uh, a bit of preparation. So let's just check. Uh, We've got everything, every base covered. Yeah. I've Firstly, got... how many questions have they got? I'll to tell get you right? what. Let's do this off air then. Should we play a great, a great tune? Well, yeah. Well, people need to call in, don't they? Because we're doing it, aren't we? Yeah. It'll be all right. And there's there's good stuff. I've got uh, CDs. Right. I've got um, some Is... bonus CD on certain copies, and that's uh, an acoustic version of Just Like Heaven. Fantastic. He hasn't thought it through. I know. We've just right, spent we've... three of three and a half minutes trying to figure out the rules. Yeah. Of this game. Right. We've got it now. I'm sorry for people to call in. The, the lines are going mental. Right, so hold on, everybody. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do an ad break. We're just we're gonna, gonna figure out how to play the game. Exactly. We're gonna get two ads. people on there and we're gonna play it. So uh, XFM and that. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. The adverts aren't working today, and I don't. I'll have to get an engineer in as well. Right, so that's don't play the adverts. I don't want to play them anyway. Don't play them. It's not our fault if it doesn't work. It's. Uh, Why? Do you realise if we were like live, we'd be heckled off the stage. <laughs> Right, wait, wait, don't play the adverts. No, we wouldn't survive in the real world. I'll sort that out. Right, right, right get the people on the air now. Just no, get, 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 oh. Rick, calm down. Play a record then. Do something for Christ's sake. Brilliant, pulp. Good news and bad news. Bad news is we have got enough callers to play Carl's game. Okay. The good news is we don't have to play any more adverts. Yeah. In this show, so uh, if it doesn't work, sod it. Right, who have you got on the line, Carl? Sam. Now let's just remind ourselves what's the game. Rockbusters. Okay, now calm down, Carl. I know you're a bit stressed. You've got a lot to do, but don't worry. You've just had a holiday. Throw this desk out. Just throw. It, let's throw it out and start again. Rick, don't get stressed. Go on then. People, it, people wouldn't think it was us if this show wasn't, you know, half baked and <laughs> ill formed and, <laughs> and generally shoddy. That's right. what they've grown to love. <laughs> okay. All right, Sam. Hello. Is it sounding all right today? It is. It's just about. All right. Cheers. That is worth. <laughs> all right, Good. Okay. Well, and, uh, so we've got Sam <laughs> on the line. Who else have we got there? Yes, we've got, so we've got Tim as well, haven't we? Hi there. All right, Tim. Yeah, Tim and Sam. Right, you, okay. you sound quite similar, lads. Could one of you affect an accent or something? Um. Which one's Tim? Yeah, it's me. Okay, which one's Sam? It's just Sam. That's it's slightly deeper, slightly deeper. Yeah, yeah. And they're not okay. against the clock anyway, are they? So it doesn't really matter. I suppose not. So. No, I think Steve just wanted a bit of variety. Yeah. You, uh. <laughs> okay. You understand the rule, lads. <laughs> Could you explain them to us? <laughs> <laughs> right, play it. Okay, right, hang on, wait, 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 well, wait, let wait, me, wait. let me explain, because, I mean, life is too short. Now, Carl's gonna read out, um, uh, say three clues, yeah, and, um, just, just shout your own name and answer it, or shout the answer. Shout your own name, then the answer, if you know, and it's the person who gets the most right. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, um. Uh, here we go, then. Okay, then. So, 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 shouldn't it be the first to three? Well, yeah, but then yeah. he yeah. hasn't got, yeah, yeah, he's he's got, got enough, I've got enough, it's fine. He's got enough clues for that. Mm. Right then, here we go. Welcome oh. to the show. Uh, oh, God. Right, uh, <laughs> first initials, S, T, right? Is that right? S well, I don't know. Oh, we don't know, do we? How do we know? Here we go, S, T, and the cryptic clue is 
better than the average homeless person. Okay? Sorry, I- I think- is that a band? Yeah. Is it an old band? Yeah. I think that's one word. All right, then S. S. It's an old 70s band. Uh, better than the average homeless Tim. person. Tim? Go on. Super Tramp. Super yes. Tramp well done. Yeah. Well yeah. done. One point to well, you, Tim. I have no idea why that's right, by the way. You don't know- you don't understand why it's a right? Soup, he's a super tramp. Oh, right. Better okay. than the average homeless oh, person. Yeah. 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 yeah, cryptic. Yeah. Okay, second one. Come on, Sam, you've got a- That's actually okay. quite good for Carl. Trust me, Tim, that's- I mean, take that. Take that as a good clue. Cos- <laughs> yeah, okay. We won't do this again. <laughs> Wait, one right, nil to here Tim. We go. Right, F. The letter is F. That's the next one we're moving on to. And the cryptic clue is, the little girl is hungry, what shall we do? The S or F? I've F. got it. F. 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 Freddy. Sam. Peter. Yes, one all. Feed her. He's pulled out Feed of her. Yeah. <laughs> Feed her. Feed okay. her. Yeah. So that's one each, so this is the decider, isn't it? Wait a minute, ITV are on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said first to three, so no it's not, is it? That's what I said. Just do the three clues, yeah. who gets the most. Okay, well we can do that now. So, <laughs> here we go. I love this. This is rubbish. Go on. So, here's, here's, here's the last one. The initials are A-K, right? And the cryptic clue is exploding pet. Say, shout out your name if you know it. <laughs> Last orders at the bar, please. Last orders at the bar. <laughs> exploding pet. A K. You're tuned to XFM 104.9, Carl Perkinson's Quiz, Rockbusters. The format is still available. <laughs> the highest bidder, please give us a call or you can email ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Is it a band or a singer? It's, I'll give you a bit more of a clue, it's, it's a, a pop band. Okay, we, we wouldn't- no, it's on the kitten. Yes! Oh, hey. this is amazing radio. Oh. So who was that that won? That was Sam who won. So it's 2-1 to Sam, so he wins- what does he win, Carl? He wins some CDs and some videos. No, he's got a, and uh, w uh, and uh, obviously now, Sam, if you're ready, take the spot. You're going to do the gold run. <laughs> <laughs> Away you go, Carl. I haven't got any more. You're a fool. Right, right, stay on the line. We're giving both some presents. Play a record for. I just... Rick, I'm going to shoot off. Not <laughs> come. I mean, it really is falling apart. Get a new one in. Let's not, you know. Oh. I can't believe it. Get the- I mean, look at the- look at that! Look at the library, look, gap- look at the gaps in yeah, the right, library. Let's not go on about this, cos this isn't- this isn't good. <sighs> what? Whereas that quiz was? <laughs> <laughs> whereas that was good radio. You can join in and stuff. But the problem yeah, okay. is, Carl, you- why'd you rush to do it? We- I told you before we should practice these things. That's Although, to be doing. fair, Steve, I can't- I haven't got time to do anything, so at least Carl's coming up with stuff. But I don't mind, you know, running what through other ideas with it while you're having a kip outside. Really? What other ideas have you got? Have you got any other ideas, Carl? Because we're really- you've got another hour to put- have you got well, anything we, at we, all? We, I've got that feature educating Ricky, which is a bit of a play on words as well. Right? Do you know the- do you know the film, Steve? Educating Rita. Yeah. I'll well see done. what you've done. I'll see what you've done. <laughs> Go on. I'm doing that and I teach Ricky stuff. Uh, <laughs> okay. what, 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 what do you teach me, Carl? Well, I've got a few different topics. Um, Go on. Do you know, like, how you taught me about Hitler and Che Guevara and Winston Churchill? Mm -hmm. I'm going to come in with topics every week, and this week I've got uh, hang ghosts. No, hanging bacon is one of the topics. Say that again. Hanging bacon. Hanging bacon. All, all the titles. Francis Bacon. <laughs> no, all the titles are sort of named to sort of make sort of tease you and get you more interested in it. Hanging bacon. Well, you've right. certainly intrigued. Go on. What's the another title one? Uh, Hairy Chinese kid. <laughs> <laughs> Could I, I'm no. going for that one. Could if, I, there I mean, a, if there was a university degree yeah, with that yeah. title, yeah. No, I'm going to go for Hairy Chinese kid. And I think. the final one. Yeah. A alien gives man a beard. <laughs> <laughs> right. I alien gives burst. man a beard. I am going to burst. Right. Listen, Carl. You've got to tell me. Right. To first. Right. Let's do it in reverse. No, we're order. not. We're not going to do it now, anyway. What do you mean? You, we've got to do it now. But, I mean, that's this is the first interesting thing you've said in an hour. Okay. The listeners have just uh, been subjected to rubbish and ah uh, oh, and mistakes and everything for the last <laughs> six months. Please, we've got to do. Alien gives man a beard. What is that? Tell us that. Right. Um, Sorry, this is just you telling me something, is it? <laughs> well, this feature is you telling me something. I'm teaching you something, educating Ricky. Right? So, are we playing it now? We're already into this feature. <laughs> well, into this feature, are we? Yeah, I suppose we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should there not be a jingle or something? Yeah, can we have a well, jingle? There's no point because look, I come up with ideas and you dismiss them straight away. So I'm not wasting my time making stuff. 
Right. If you don't like well, okay, it. let's play, let's play Educating Ricky. Right. Brilliant. Go. Right. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Educating Ricky. Right, what are we going for then? Hanging the bacon, airy Chinese kid, alien gives man a beer. I think alien gives man a beer. I'd like to do that. Right, there's this fellow, I think it happened in America, uh, and he saw a bright light in the sky. <laughs> and, uh. God, if you're bored. And he stood there. This is a true story, is it? Yeah. He stood there. <laughs> yeah, it's cause it isn't, Steve. <laughs> and he saw this bright light and it came closer and closer and it was a UFO. Right? <laughs> yep. And he looked at it and it disappeared, right? And he gets back in his car. <laughs> he looks in the mirror. And he looks in the mirror. Yep. He's only got a beard. He has. <laughs> you sure it wasn't it. someone else who got in the car? And he was still standing out there? No, right. What? And it turned out, yeah. he got home and said to his wife or, or his girlfriend, uh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got out of the car to look at a bright light. And I, gr I, I got back in the car, I grew a beard, and she said, Never mind your beard, where have you been for three days? <laughs> and what had happened is. He the, passed out because he was pissed. No. <laughs> the, the UFO had <laughs> taken him for three days. Yeah. But he'd only thought that he'd, he'd only looked at it and it went away. Yeah. But what had yeah, happened is. Yeah, he yeah. took him and yeah. he grew a beard because he hasn't had a shave. Um. So, right, okay. D d I mean. Was. Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones, anything to do with this at all? Did, uh, we, did you see this on a video, maybe, and thought it was an educational film? No, it's from a book that some kind person sent in to me. Here. Yeah. Um, Can I just ask again, just, just again, I'm just throwing this right back at you. Um, do you think there's any other possible answer here? Right? A man is absent <laughs> for three days from home. He's the, grown the a beard. The length of time that it could take to grow a beard, lest we forget. Um, what if he hadn't actually <coughs> seen a bright light in the sky? What, what if, if he, he was lying? Drunk, what if he was lying? He'd got knocked unconscious, mm. he'd had a car crash. Just lying. No, things. just lying. Or he it's, was just lying. Yeah, he'd, he'd been on a bender, getting pissed for three yeah, days and that was his mates. excuse to his wife. And they went, what are you gonna- what- Dennis, what are you gonna tell your wife? <laughs> um, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. She's not gonna believe I was out with you, lads. Uh, yeah. uh, Just say you're only away for a minute. No, she no, I wasn't away for a minute because of the beard. <laughs> oh yeah, look, it looks like you've been out for three days. Well, we have, that's- <laughs> exactly. Right, okay, we've got to cover that then. <laughs> uh, alien abduction. Great one. Okay, let's try that. Do you see? That's a little scenario there that could have been played So, out. when you say educating Ricky, what have I learnt from this? Never listen to you again. That's all I've learnt so far. Never listen well, to yeah, you. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more in here, right? To well, no, uh, what do you mean, add a little bit more? We'll add a bit more to this, to this what I'm educating you about. Go on. Right? Um, there's only a law in America that says <laughs> if you touch a UFO, you're gonna get done. Now, why would they make a rule? I don't know that. Do you know, like all our rules have a code. Uh, Carl, I, I, I genuinely do not know what you're talking about. Right? Do you know, like how here? Do, do you know? I what have no idea. Right. Okay. Do you know, like over <laughs> here? I'm listening to Capital on these headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got Foxy on from yesterday. Uh, right, let's let's spin that. <laughs> no way, it's great. No, I, I want to hear about airy Chinese kid. <laughs> let's play a tune. Okay, play a tune. Come back with airy Chinese, Chinese kid. kid. Definitely. Some, some doors. Yeah, I yeah. just thought uh, I'd go oh. back. Can I take it back to the sixties? Uh, this is a tune that a friend of mine sent. If me. you touch a UFO, you get done. Soul Kitchen from the Doors. Shambles today. Mm. This. Dave Bowie. So quite an Eno trilogy yeah, feel about it. Lodger yeah. and sort of low type. Yeah, but uh, yeah, mm. enjoyable. Um, now, okay. That's stressful, isn't it? We've, I think we've got things working now. We've had people coming in and out. Just shaking their head, going, shouldn't have bought that desk. <laughs> but it's all sorted now, I think. And uh, oh, I'm, you notice I'm, how it I'm took um, about what? twenty-five minutes for them to come down as well, though. Do you feel like we're maybe quite low in the pecking order in the building? Definitely. You know, it's like Capital First, Capital Gold. They can shoot off to other sort of pirate stations, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people's yeah. car radios, yeah. then they come back <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I had a job at Richard Sounds. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Light fitting was uh, buzzing. <laughs> yeah. um, now. <laughs> But we've got, um, thanks for staying, listening. Um, right, okay, educating Ricky. What have we got? Every Chinese kid, go on. Right, yeah. This is the, uh, I didn't want to do this. What do really. you mean, didn't want to do it? Well, I wanted to give you three and I, I, and I gave you one. It was like the alien uh, man gets a beard or whatever. Yeah. And Which was total rubbish, so uh, this one should be better, maybe. Hey, Chinese kid. Right, well, yeah. we've talked about airy people in the past. <laughs> 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 True enough. Aren't we? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, the little kids who grew up in woods and hung around with wolves and that. Yeah, again, you're confusing it. Yeah, they're not, they're, they're not, there were some people that were born 
a very hirsute. They were not the yeah. people who were brought up with wolves. Yeah. You just put that together in your <laughs> Homer Simpson type mind. Right. Well, this is like a sort of sort of close to that sort of story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the weird thing is, right? Chinese people <laughs> aren't that hairy as a as a nation. <laughs> no, seriously. That's that's a well known fact. <laughs> You, they don't they don't have that much body hair and right. stuff. Okay. So this little kid who was born over there, um, he was like covered in stuff. Was he? And it was only his nose that wasn't hairy. The rest of his body was caked in hair, right? Mm. Um and his hair sort of What grew. sort of hair was it? Was thick, it thick hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is, was it sort of uh, uh like a pony's mane, so he just looked like an Ewok. You know what I mean? Just like hanging down sort of straight. Well, okay. it looked, in the picture, it looked like uh, it grows it from downy? his eyebrow. It grows from his eyebrows quite thick, and then it just goes all the way over. You his don't head. think it was just really long eyebrows that he'd done a comb over? No, th it was all over his body. It had a picture of like his back and that. Yeah. And um, had he styled it? Had he styled it at all? Did he, did he have it a quiff or? No, it was just it was just, just hanging all over, over him. Yeah. And um, and they were like, you know, this is a bit weird happening uh, happening in China, mm. where, <laughs> where we're not normally that airy. <laughs> The scientists speaking <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> the press, the local press, and that were getting him down, calling him Monkey Boy and all this. Oh. And um, thinking Chinese press. But the doctor, <laughs> yeah, oh, they're cruel, aren't they? The it's like those game shows. <laughs> well, That's Japanese, isn't it? Yeah, that's all that. Yeah. And the doctor said. um, I was st talking through all that time where we were just like talking <laughs> to each other then. Because I turned around and I still <laughs> saw he was talking. <laughs> Go on. So anyway, the local press came in to see the hairy boy, the monkey yeah, boy. Yeah, and they were like being tight and taking the mickey out of him and the doctor said, uh... Throwing him nuts. Said he's only, he's only hairy. Said, um, he's a healthy young kid. The only faults he's got is he's got a little bit of eczema and a boil. <laughs> <laughs> so, and he said everybody should just treat him the same and <laughs> I think he grew up a healthy, healthy kid. Um... Yeah, so that's that's the uh That's that's the end of the story. That's not a story. Why? Well I, but I've got nothing I don't know what to say to that. So someone was someone in China was born slightly hairier than the rest and he was normal apart from eczema and a boil. That to me isn't a story. <laughs> but that, I, that, I, if it is, I've got a million. I mean it, it's sort of like bloke from Manchester, went a bit bolder than the rest, got a job on radio. He was normal. I mean that's not a story, is it? Do you know what I mean? All right, then. Um, hang on, hang on. Oh, God, he's got the big guns. You're not gonna give us hanging bacon, are you? Yeah. <laughs> come on, then. Come on, then. Right, come on. We really come on. To. This, this is it. No, this is a good one. This is the one. And this is a story, right? Um, do you know the saying, uh, chewing the fat? Good one. It's one of my favourites. Yeah? Yeah. Do you know what it means? Talking. Right. Well, do you know where it came from? No. Right, what they used to do years ago, when people didn't have much money. Is this the same as the ba throwing the baby out of the bathwater? No, it's not the s- well, it's not the same saying, but it's- No, but I mean, is it as wrong as right, that was? Well, let me tell you, we'll go see. On. Okay. Um, like, people go out to work and with the money, they'd buy food. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> this is a good system. What, what, go on, what do you- what do you- what do you mean? People go out to work and with the system- And if- if you, if you were quite well off, you might treat your family to some bacon, right? But do you know, like in these days, if people earn a lot of money, they might buy a nice suit or and, or a oh, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what, what are you saying? You're saying. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. You're saying that it, you go out to work and get money to to buy things to to live, and if you get sort of enough money to live, and you've got some left over, you might treat yourself on like a suit or a car or something. Is that yeah, what you? Yeah. Oh, but back on. then, back then, if yeah. you earned money, they'd say, "This is olden times." Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get some bacon in, right? <laughs> and what they'd do, they'd hang it in the kitchen. Or to show it off. To show it off right. to all the neighbours and friends. Because if you were, if you had hanging bacon, it was like he's doing all right for himself. Yeah, yeah. Some lovely bacon. So he had loads of bacon hanging up, and people would come round, right? And whilst they stood in the kitchen talking about whatever they're talking about, in olden times, they'd say, uh, "Do you want a bit of rind?" And they'd and they'd rip a little bit of rind off. And whilst they're having a having a chit chat, chewing the they'd chew on the rind. Well, I think that's probably true. And I say, haven't heard that, but that one to me sounds true. Do you see the difference between that one and? A man was abducted and grew a beard. Do, do, do can you see the difference in yeah, why I accept that different, story? Different stories for different things. <laughs> different stories for different things. <laughs> so, see, that's a nice, that's a nice story. If it's true, I don't know. If it's true. I mean, but it seems totally possible, viable, quite interesting. I won't be quoting that myself until I've verified it. 
but that's, you know, I won't be telling anyone the bloke got in the car and he had a full face beard. <laughs> <laughs> Why has car been towed away? Because it was a quiet road. It was it? It wasn't in the way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are okay. you filling in the blanks again? <laughs> that wasn't in the book, was it, that you read? <laughs> See, that's yeah. the thing, sometimes I think you make up bits of the story <laughs> as though they were fact. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Well, that's all you can do, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's educating Ricky, will we? Brilliant. Do that next week. That is brilliant. No, I think Carl. that was good. I, I, I did, I mean, I enjoyed that. I learned something from that. I mean, well, just, just, um, I wanna get a, I mean, this is all from one book, is it? Yeah. That's an interesting book. Um, with the, with the, I don't, I don't want to dwell on it, but with the, uh, with the hairy Chinese kid, what, what, what did they say about that? What did they, what was the, I mean, was it, once there was born a kid who was slightly more hairy than everyone else, but he, it's all right, he only had a boil. Oh, how did they word it? How did they, how did this capture your imagination? There was well, a it was a picture that grabbed me, first yeah. of all. Yeah. Sure. And uh, it was like, God, what, what's up with him? And that's when I read it. <laughs> did you see said, the boil in the XML or just the hair? No, you see, because his face is like, just under his eyes is sort of nice and smooth and his nose is sticking out and uh, that's not hairy, but the rest of him, it looked like he had the sort of a balaclava on or something. <laughs> and then, and then I read on and it's like, this is a hairy kid in China. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's... good. Anything else in there? Because, I mean, I like, I like, no, I like we'll, that. No, we'll do more of that next week. How, how is that alongside, um, hanging bacon, alien abduction, abduction um, uh, a, a hairy Chinese kid, and, uh, a little interesting fact about the derivation of a phrase. What do you mean? He didn't understand a word of that. <laughs> 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 I knew the word derivation was gonna cause problems. <laughs> I thought derivation shouldn't have come out. <laughs> about this time every week. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we start about this time every week? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll do, um, that song's got a good story. Okay. Mm, love it, love it, snappy. Go on, go and, on, go um, on. There's loads of songs out there, isn't there, with, uh, with songs that you couldn't fade out. When you hear them on the radio and that, you don't want anyone to talk over the start or the end. Uh, yeah. Because oh, but remember we did this one before with, um, Killing of Georgie by, um, Rod Stewart. Yeah. And I was a bit worried that it might have been a true story, because mm. we were, you know, joking about it. And, uh, he went, oh, you know that Killing of Georgie? He went, I think it is a true story. I went, why? He went, I listened to it again, and Rod Stewart at the beginning says, this is a, uh, one of my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? It's genius. So there's loads of songs out of there, and what I want to do, we want to get the audience involved in this, so mm. if you've got, like, a favourite song that's got a really good If you've story, got an audience. <laughs> yeah, go on. Uh, and they email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, and they say what the song is now. What would examples be, then? Examples, ones that jump to mind straight away for me, Elvis. In the ghetto. Yeah, good one. Brilliant. Andrew Gold, Lonely Boy. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't know that one. Eminem, Stan. Right. Yeah, yeah. Good one. You couldn't fade it out, could you, because you go, well, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> and that's, that's what I'm saying. Not just any sort of pop song that keeps repeating itself and, you know, it's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it skips or, you know what I mean, if you turn the radio off. Yeah. But I'm talking Ernie, about songs. Ernie, the fastest milk <laughs> <in> the <world. laughs> Yeah, that is a good story. That is a good story. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that one? Yeah, it's, well, it's a story, yeah. Ted from Teddington, he drove the baker's van. Well, oh. uh, so what, what have we got then? Have we got one? So we're gonna kick it off today with, uh, Stevie Wonder, Living Just Enough for the City. Okay. And, uh, just, just briefly. Sum it up. Right, yeah. if you haven't, if you, if, if you are nipping out, maybe you're in the car and you're about to pull up somewhere and get out, what it's all about is, is a lad who's, who's growing up in, like, America in some rough area, right? And, uh, he's trying his best to do well and get a job and everything, but because of where he's from, he's stopping him doing that, right? It's like how I grew up on an estate in Manchester, mm. and I had to leave there and come to London to mm. do all right for myself, yeah. right? Uh, and it's his whole family, and it's a tale of, like, how, like, his, how his man works dead hard and works loads of hours, but the kids are always well-dressed and cleaned. It doesn't mean just because you haven't got a good job, you let your house run down. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? She's looking after it. The, the sister, you know, she hasn't got new clothes, but they're always clean, and her knees are clean, I think it says in one point. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Excellent. Clean uh, knees, always so, important. So, will we give it a listen, let, let it Brilliant, it's a well, great track. I don't track. think Stevie can do it justice. <laughs> <laughs> After that exploration. <laughs> right, so. Oh, oh <laughs> I'm not sure oh, he's gonna I be able to top that. I think he uses, that. like, some sort of, like, backing tune to try and, uh, <laughs> Try and pep it up a bit, because yeah. you have really knocked it so, the socks off so it. So Brilliant. It's, I'm, it's, I'm looking forward right, to the clean knees. It's a new feature, uh. What is it called again? The story in that song's really good. Here's Stevie Wonder. 
Go on then, Carl. Back announce that. It's your, it's your choice, that. Right, songs with good stories, like you can't fade out. Yeah. Uh, Although you can heavily edit them for Yeah, them. I noticed you didn't, you, you didn't play the, uh, the full version, which has no, obviously radio, got eh? the complete story in. You've, um, you've just played a, uh... I haven't heard the other single That's all I know. Well, in the album version, uh, he, he gets goes abducted. To jail. He gets abducted as well, and he comes back with a big beard. Yeah, and he's no. covered in hair. No, no. he goes. To, he gets uh, arrested and goes to jail. But uh, it's he's, it's just you know it's just because he gets picked up because he's black. And he hasn't done anything wrong. There's a whole well, other there's a whole other sort one. of section. Maybe we should change this section. No, what we'll do, right? Abridged versions of songs. <laughs> yeah. No, next week we'll play the second bit, and it'll be like uh, like Star Wars or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Doves, caught by the river on XFM 104.9. Well, it's been a good show, hasn't it? It's been sort of like a, what, quite a rock and roll 70s feel to it, mainly the equipment. Um, but, uh, we got through it. Carl's been telling us some great insights into his, his mind, mm. really. We've had a few laughs, a few tears. A bit stressful. What were you telling me in the week about when you went to visit your dad in hospital? Oh, we're talking about, um, yeah, me, me, when I got back off holiday and my dad was, was in hospital, I shot back to see him, see how he's getting on, and uh, hospitals are depressing places, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Really, like, phew, God, you know, they, 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 you know, if, even if you're not that ill, it makes you feel worse. Yeah. Because it's really, like, drags you down, there's people walking around moaning, and, you know. You, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nurses. And, uh, yeah. my dad Ooh, was like, cool. Yeah. Is, is, uh, <laughs> High five. Satire. No, satire. Yeah. yeah. I would like to be the yeah, get paid enough and all that, and oh. I do, like... No, well, that's... Tony Blair, I mean. are you listening? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to look like I'm moaning about the people working, because they all work really hard. Yeah, of course they do, yeah. But it's just the hard, hard depressing places. High five. Nice one, Go nice on. one. Yeah. Right, so, um, so I'm sat there, my dad's, uh, getting fed up, and, uh... <laughs> is that because you're visiting? <laughs> Just, just, he's quite an active bloke, and yeah. all of a sudden he's got to like stay in bed and, yeah. you know, it's like sit down, stop moving about and all this. Yeah. So, um, so he's sat there, and there's an old woman in the bed next door, right? And, uh, she's, I mean, she's in, she's in a bad way anyway. Yeah. Right? She must have been, she'd looked about, I'd say she looked about 98 or something like that. Okay, good. Right. Now, I don't know what was wrong with her, but she was always constantly moaning, and you could see that the nurses were trying their best to keep her happy, and she wasn't having any of it. And, uh, you know, she was moaning because her hands had gone blue. <laughs> well, that is a worry, to be honest. Well, it's not, because she's 98. Is that what happens? But why, why doesn't the doctor, if I was a doctor, and I'm not one, but, uh, no, no, Carl, don't be modest. Are you a doctor? Yes but, or no? But if I, was I think there, he's let it slip. Are you, Carl, are you a doctor? No, listen. Look me in the eye. Right. Yeah. right so Carl, this woman had blue hands. Had she, she had, seen, um, a spacecraft? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, <laughs> go on. she had blue hands. Now, she's 98. If I was a doctor, I'd No, thinking, she's not 98. You said, you said earlier on she looked about 98. So you're making that up. <laughs> it's just shifted from speculation to fact. <laughs> That's blue fact now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, she's 98. <laughs> it is fact now! <laughs> There's a hundred year old woman. Go yeah, on. yeah, go on, yeah. If I was a doctor, I'd be thinking... You're not, are you? <laughs> you <laughs> you honestly think you think you're like, on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, How would I get away with this? <laughs> I'd be thinking... <laughs> right. She's 98. Um, she hasn't got long left. Why not just let her be at home and be happy in With her own hands. in her own space? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and let her let her have a, a nice life, whatever's left. Because she may hurt herself, so you may have falls. Some people have to go in there for their own protection. She might not have immediate but more family. Than that, she may not have been dragged in against her will. No, she no. may have come to hospital because she was worried yeah. about her blue hands. Yeah, yeah. But I, when I was talking to Ricky, he said, "Oh, what it would have been is." Uh, Probably a bit of. Did you say it's rheumatism or something? No, I said it might. I mean, a, a blueness can be through uh, lack of circulation. Right. So just. And say, I'm right, definitely you've got, not a doctor. You've got, you've got blue hands, bad circulation. We're going to send you home. We'll give you a Rubik's cube. Um, play around with that with your hands. Get get the blood. <laughs> the Rubik's yeah. cube. Sure. Get, get the blood pumping. Yeah. Um, and don't worry. I don't say. Oh, it's really bad. Just think she's 98. Yeah. Let her have a nice rest of the life. Yeah. But instead, she was there, and the annoying thing was, and they do this with a lot of people in hospital, they pump you with drugs, uh -huh. try to sort it out. They don't, you know, there's probably a bit of guesswork going on. Maybe. A little well, bit. Not, not as much as <laughs> you, but go on. Right? And because of that, they sort of break wind a lot. 
So I'm sat there with my dad talking. Whoa, 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 Drugs do that, Steve. <laughs> I'm sure if there's a doctor listening or a nurse, they will clarify <laughs> right. that if they pump you with all sorts of stuff, um, it wants to come out. <laughs> right. So you're sat there having a serious chat. It's a quiet hospital. <laughs> the woman next door with the blue hands suddenly starts seeping gas, right? Well, I start laughing. Because if there's one thing that makes you laugh, it's that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a 98 year old woman with blue hands, fine. <laughs> so you try to hold it in because it's a really quiet hospital and it's, it'd be obvious that, we were, uh, that I was laughing at her and I, I didn't want to be mean, but right. it was funny. And then it got me t talking about my auntie because my auntie Nora, um, she, uh, she, same thing, pumped her with loads of drugs. She used to, a, a, a cabinet next to the bed is like boots. She's got <laughs> loads of stuff, right? For all sorts of stuff. And I mean, she's not that old, but she's on loads of stuff, right? She's and a bit coked up if she's she, smoked. Uh, she called up my mum once, and, <laughs> Yeah, uh, you told us this, go on, tell it again. And, uh, she said, oh, how are you doing and that? She said, alright. Uh, bit worried though, my mum said, wow, what's up? She said, I've, uh, been breaking wind. So she goes, well, you yeah. know. She says, no, but this one is going on and on and on. And she was <laughs> like, she was, she was like, what, 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 what do you say, what's? Like passing wind, farting for five minutes. She must be the size of a barn. No, she's not that big. She's, you know, she's good for her age. No, quite but I mean- that. Quite slim. No, it's but fighting for five minutes. Uh, where's all the guy- was she circular breathing? Was she sucking it in with her mouth? It was just- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that much about it. But she called up my mum. About two and a half minutes in- Could you hear <laughs> it in the background? <laughs> two and a half minutes in! Two and a half minutes in, she called <laughs> my mum up and it, it went on for a further two and a half minutes. <gasps> oh. And she just stayed on the phone, did you? Where was- phone? Going, well, Can you hear that? Well, <laughs> yeah, did she <laughs> hold the phone next to her ass? <laughs> Listen to she, that. She was off the ground. I'm trying to work a tune down. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was- she was actually hovering. She was yeah. off the ground yeah. when they found her, the ambulance yeah. men. The cat's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't light a match! <laughs> Don't light that cigarette! <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, that advert. The kids come home from school, switch on the light. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there they see Granny, yeah. hovering, <laughs> turn the light on. <laughs> Be careful if you have an elderly woman at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drugs so, make you fart. So <laughs> that's- that's what I'm saying, you know, just let these people- What? What are you saying? No, wait a minute, what are you saying? I'm saying let people enjoy the life they've got left. No, you're not. You're saying don't put them in hospital, leave them at home to die. No, I'm not. Give them a Rubik's Cube right. and let them die. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I'll tell you something now, right? <laughs> Steve, right. I'll tell you something. I didn't want to do it because it brings the show down. But she did die. Who? The blue-handed lady? Yeah. How do you know? Because I said to me dad, how's the, uh, Woman next door. She, said, oh, she went. She went last night. They've got an old fella in there now. God. So there you go. So wouldn't it have been better to leave her at home, where her friends and family can call and speak to her, even nip that round if they want, you know, with a cat? I think I imagine. <laughs> no, it's definitely a cat now. What uh, was that cat's called? Do you imagine? Probably. I'm seeing like a big ginger one. So I don't know. Something <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe ginger or whatever. <laughs> Um, maybe I'd a budgie. But that's what I'm saying, just let him enjoy his life, because dying in hospital, I wouldn't like to do it. If- if I went to the doctors and they said you haven't got long life left, I'd say, well, I'll- I'll stay at home. Yeah. And that's- that's the point I'm getting at. Yeah. Right? If you can't do anything for them, let them enjoy their life. Yeah, a Rubik's Cube. <sighs> right, well, um, good. It backfired. Now, uh, let's play- the second uh, of the Rolling Stones track, I'm gonna try and do this every week. It's a feature called Too Lazy to Go and Get Another Album. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about a classic a bit of rock and roll? Yeah? I'd love to hear Brown it. Brown Sugar. Do you know what this is about, Carl? Drugs. Maybe, I'll tell you later. Well, Stones, Brown Sugar. Uh, Steve thinks I can't tell you what this is about because it's too rude for radio. Um, but you've done it again, haven't you? You've said another call, haven't you? Yeah, just that, uh, drugs do make you have wind, morphine especially, uh, especially. That's, that's the, uh, the bad one to have. And that was from a medical student, wasn't it? Yeah. Up in yeah. Leeds, so cheers for that. Haven't had any calls about the alien abduction, funnily <laughs> enough. <laughs> no clarification on that no, so far. No. Keep you posted, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if anything happens, we will let you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. We got through it with all these mistakes. They've got to get this equipment fixed and get, they've got to go to HMV Monday. And buy about, f I'd say five to ten thousand pounds worth <laughs> of new albums. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. It's be good get next this week. fixed. Now get this yeah, fixed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go on about that. Next week though, we'll have more educating. That's Ricky. the phone. Look, that's yeah, the phone. Yeah, don't do that. What? Educating Ricky. We'll do 
The quiz. Rock busters. Do that again. Right, yeah. I might songs. not be here. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case. And Steve. What? What have you got? What, next week? No. No. Well, I'm just gonna bring some sandwiches. I, do, do you notice I was quite quiet for the last twenty minutes? Yeah. Just dozed off. Yeah, well, the air conditioning's, um, <laughs> exactly, I'm feeling quite muggy. It's too- that's, that- that doesn't work either. And this is- uh, I'm totally serious, I'm not joking for oh. the- it's- I mean, it's ridiculous. So. Right, a song for the ladies to end with as ever. Uh, Sly and the Family Stone. It's always a favourite. If you want me to stay. Yeah.